and, and we will start there. We'll start there with. Look, I, I want to go into this straight away because I want to talk about Mark Goldbridge to start with. I thought what he said to Gary Neville, what he called him out on, was absolutely beyond spot on. We've got a series of the tweets we just put up on the screen here, but essentially. Gary Neville was called out by John Cross for being a little too biased and protecting Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Gary Neville was, went on to, to essentially say that he will never call for somebody to lose their job, irrespective of whether he's a pundit or not. Being a pundit is, doesn't mean he's going to call for anyone to lose their job, and he certainly isn't going to do it to a friend. This led to Mark Goldbridge basically saying, well, we can ignore your opinions then because you've admitted your bias. You're not going to give us your true thoughts because you're going to protect a friend. Uh, Gary Neville has then gone back saying, yes, please ignore me. Is it to say, Gary, uh, my interpretation was, who are you to call me out? I don't want you to interact with me anyway. And Goldbridge sort of saw that as a, as a moral victory. And I agree with Mark Goldbridge. I think he was absolutely spot on. And this isn't yeah. some and it is a clash and, and, and it isn't some weird kind of YouTube beef, but I, I think he's spot on for calling him out because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is not doing a good enough job. You don't have to berate someone, slag them off, belittle them as a person to say, I think they've taken the club as far as they can. And I know Gary Neville's got this kind of moral standing that he won't ask for anybody to lose their job, but there are more than one way to skin a cat. If you're saying that someone isn't doing a good enough job, if you're saying that somebody is, has lost a dressing room, whatever it may be, whatever your kind of thought is, you always, you're always saying they should lose their job. You don't have to stand up, stand on his platform and say, go and sack Oli tomorrow. I understand that. But I thought Mark Goldbridge was very brave and, and correct and right in calling um, Neville out. And I think it's the right thing to do because when you pay the prices we pay to watch Sky TV, you want complete honesty. It's, it's a shame. He's paid a hell of a lot of money. He's a very, very good pundit. And he is absolutely, I don't think the streets will forget. And I don't do that sort of thing. But well, I will do. The streets aren't going to forget, Gary. The streets aren't going to forget, Gary. You think you're a top-class pundit? You've ruined yourself. The streets aren't going to forget. We won't forget this, bro. We're not going to forget this, man. The streets won't forget. We won't forget. We're not going to forget this because it's it, it's the hypocrisy. Where Why wasn't he sticking up for Van Hal or, 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 or uh, Mourinho like this? Why, when he's spoken about other football clubs and on his Sky Sports as a Sky Sports pundit, has he not stuck by the managers like?